Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosanna. So in today's video, this is probably the second or third time I have been trying to film this video with this deliciousness of the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. Okay, to, by the way, P.S., it has just been technical difficulties. Anyway, yes. So, um, yeah, girl, when I saw powder foundation, I'm like, mm, mm, mm. see, I am in my early fifties. I tried to use a powder foundation once a few years back. That was disastrous. So I am so, so curious as to how this is going to lay on my mature skin. Full disclosure, I have worn this once before and I was shocked, shocked. But just like a scientific experiment, I need to redo it over and over again to make sure the results are the same. But before we get into this video, I would love, love, love for you to subscribe to my channel. You could ring the bell. It will give you notifications of when I post, which is every Tuesday and every Saturday between one and two-ish. So yeah, like, make comments, ring the bell, tell your friends, help a newbie out. I would so, so appreciate um, your support. And thank you so, so much for helping me grow this channel. And now without further ado, Let's get started on this anticipated, well, for me anyway, this anticipated video. Okay, so cool. Let me just uh, put my wig back. Let me put my hair. No, it's not a wig. I mean, I'm going to give you that disclosure all the time. Yes, I call my hairdo a wig all the time, but no, it's not a wig. But I am going to pull the hairdo back. I um, have on full eye makeup and I have on my moisturizer my tinted sunblock which is very 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 lightly uh tinted but i am like so so super anxious to see how a powder foundation works on mature skin now i've seen most of the videos and like i said i have worn it once before and um shocking to say the least so but like i said i want to recreate it i want to know like it was that just a fluke I need to know for sure if this works on my skin. So yeah, like I said, I have only worn a powder foundation once, like, I don't know, like maybe a year ago-ish. It was the makeup forever. And again, I'm sure it was the um, way I put it on and the tools because it was a freaking disaster. But anyway, I'm like so super excited. So let me get my little mirror here. Actually, I'm going to just put on one light. And, oh, and by the way, like they said, they did say like to, I guess, put like concealer and stuff on before. So I do have on concealer and I did do a little bit of um, spot concealing on my forehead, a little bit over here. And I will tell you, last time I did that, um, like the powder foundation did catch like here, a little bit over here. But, you know, this is, I'm assuming like just trial and error. I really don't know like how much like a brush or like if you're going to use a sponge really holds you know like when you put in oh i'll just use like one squeeze or like one dip i i have no idea but anyway before we get into that let me just read um what it claims let's see here it says buildable light to full coverage for all long wear light as air and crease resistant this award-winning foundation um forever changes the game um let me see here blurs blur filter complex to deliver the ultimate blurred finish sweat humidity increase resistant i am running some errands later on so i will let you know and i always say you know i will come back and do some check-ins i can't guarantee i will do that because you know the noggin i usually forget but if i don't i will leave something down below how um it wore out for the day but anyway let me see buildable light to full coverage uh, let me see formula that loves to be layered interesting won't settle into fine lines clogs pores or cake up reduces the appearance of shine okay cool so let's just try this um like i'm sure there's millions of videos out there it is so so pretty i did get um number 260 here it is it's beautiful it's got like a regular mirror here and then it's got like a magnifying mirror and a little puffer over here um i did like the when i used it the first time i did use it to spot you know, like I said, anywhere that I spot concealed, it kind of gripped a little bit too much for my liking. But, you know, like I said, I'm sure it's uh, technical errors. 
I'm going to grab the BK Beauty 106. I really love this brush and I love this brush for regular concealers. Look at this one's so cool. But I'm going to use this one. It's um it's it's very very soft, but it's dense enough that I think would pick up really really well. So I am going to just swirl it like I did last time, tap it a little bit, and I really want to just like pounce first. And then I went back into buff it. I don't want to change what I did last time because I don't want it to seem like um, I deviated at all. See, like I think it's a little bit dark, but we're going to buff that little lover boy out. So that's what I want to do. I want to just um, pounce first and then I want to go back in and buff. So let's just see how this works out. Like, And I feel like right off the bat, did it say full coverage? Let me just look one more time. I don't think it gave me before, nor is it giving me now full coverage. Buildable light to full coverage. Mm, I'm going to beg to differ on that, but we'll see. We will see. So this is really, really pretty. And I'm going to just take it down because a little. it is a little bit too dark. I am wearing a turtleneck today, but it is a little bit too dark. So let's just go down a little bit here. And I just want to grab a different mirror. This one has a light on it. This is the Ricky, the Ricky Ricky. It's like um, Ricky Cutie. It's adorable. It's got all these different um, lights on it if you want to light it up. I really like it a lot. Actually, I saw it um, with Lisa J. And I'm always like, dang on it, girl. Where, what are you holding on to? And every time I went to go get it, of course, this, this one in particular was always sold out. But I think Ulta has it. I will link it below. So this looks really, really nice. So I'm going to just continue to stipple. Damn, that looks good. I'm going to continue to stipple. And then I'm going to buff. Because I think last time, I want to say like last time, I just buffed right away. And I don't think I got what I wanted out of it. So that's what we're going to do this time. I'm going to stipple. And okay, so I'm just noticing like right here, like right here, I, if you could see that, like there's my little sun spot that I cannot stand. But anyway, I always like to conceal that and it almost looks cakey right there. But I will tell you from my last experience, and I don't have oily skin, I have like normal, whatever normal is, that's what I have borderline a little bit dry i am 53 but i will tell you this last time i used this and i do not have oily skin like i just said but the more you wore it and i'm not talking three four five hours like maybe like within like an hour ish it kind of just melted into your skin and i want to say it just blended with your natural oils but it does you don't have to be like oily to have i mean you know our skin is an organ of course it's alive and it has its own oils and moistures and it's it was so beautiful i couldn't believe it that's why i was saying i'm like i could not believe that this was powder but i'm hoping that it will give me the same results let me just look i'm going to just buff this side see it looks so beautiful although you still can see like all uh, my spots and stuff i'm okay with it and let me just feel yeah like, I don't know. It's got to be some kind of magic in here. There has to be some kind of magic in this lover. Like, exactly like the first time. It feels like a liquid. It feels like a liquid foundation. I don't know what kind of magic is in there, girl. It feels so good. And I got to tell you, this time around, I think because I'm just taking my time, and I'm really watching my placement. It looks even more beautiful. That is so pretty. Like it looks, yeah, it looks like a liquid foundation. Now, again, I will try and zoom you in. I don't know what's going on up here. I have like some kind of a dry patch over there, but I will zoom you in and Here's where I put concealer before. I put concealer here. I put some concealer right over here. Let me just 
take that off. I put concealer here, I put some concealer over here, and a little bit, well actually this over here looks really good. But I will tell you right here, right here, and right over here, it is a tad, tad, tad cakey where I concealed, but I, I really want to check later on to see if that cakiness kind of blends away. It did the first time, but I want to use this product and conceal, and I want it to work. So, but right now, in all honesty, where I concealed prior, because that's what they say, although now that I'm looking at this and it says that you could, hold, hold on here, what did it say? It did say that, yeah, a full, light to full coverage formula that loves to be layered. I'm wondering if I could have concealed over it. I just wonder. But anyway, let me just see here. Yeah, this looks so beautiful. And it feels, yeah, it feels like a liquid foundation. It is beautiful. I'm going to stop there. I think I have more than enough on. And I'm going to just put on the rest of my face makeup and some lip smack and stick. And let's chit chat along the way. I'm like so impressed. Again, this is exactly, um, it's the feel. This is exactly the way it felt the first time I used it. It feels almost tacky. Do I have to put powder on top of a powder? And can I? I'm not really sure. But anyway, I have no idea. Let me just throw on some bronzer. I have on here the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. And this is in um, three. I'm using my refer number five. And let me just warm up the skin. Although I will tell you this is so pretty. I, I'm just, I'm standing, although I'm sitting in front of my window, I think the sun is already, what time is it anyway? Yeah, it's about 2.30 in the afternoon, so the sun's already like, but this is so beautiful. I'm like so impressed. Okay, and then I'm going to use the ColourPop um, Secret Crush. I didn't even use this yet. It's got a little itty bitty scent, which I'm not really a fan of scented anything, but I'm going to just tap that. This is so pretty, like exactly what it says. You could layer, I'm gonna just go over the bridge of my nose. It's layerable, layerable, does that make sense? Yeah, it is so beautiful. Now I will tell you the first time I used it, I did, I was nervous, cause I'm, I, right away I'm thinking powder. I was like, I can't, I can't do powder. I'm 53, I can't do powder. So I did set it with the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Setting Mist but I really don't think you need it. Like now that I'm touching it, you don't need, like you don't need any kind of moisture or hydration. It feels so good. I'm like so perplexed. That is so great. Okay, cool beans, cool beans. I'm gonna just throw on this, this Lorac um, Lux Diamond Highlighter. And uh, let's see here. I am like so, well, let me just tell you right off of the bat. You can layer up the wazoo here. Nothing looks, let's see, before I open mouth, insert foot. Let me just grab my mirror. I just want to see, does anything pick up? Damn, that highlighter looks so friggin' good. Like everything, the blush looks great. Let me put a little bit more highlighter on this side. That looks, look at that, it looks so good. Let me get. That looks so good. Like nothing is catching, nothing is picking up. There are no dry spots like other, other than like where I put concealer. It looks so good, so, so good. Okay, cool, let me just take off my lip balm that I had on before. And I'm going to use the Christian Odette and Mel Thompson lip liner in Kitten that I was waiting forever and a day for. So I had to get this and a backup. I love this combination. I'm going to use her um, lip liner and the lipstick in Beauty. Okay. 
I love this combination. Mm, isn't that so so pretty? But you know, I'm a glossy queen. I love a I love a glossy lip, so I'm gonna just top it with the Maybelline Lifter. This is in ice. These are so friggin' delicious and fabulous. Mm, actually, I have um reef and something else but i just picked up this clear one i mean come on now mm. that is so so perfect okay cool so let me just take down my hairdo and just assess everything oh my god it looks so beautiful honestly i feel this is exactly the way it felt the first time i put it on it feels like a liquid foundation like i want to say that i want to use the word tacky but you know what i mean it feels like it needs to be set which i'm not going to i'm not going to powder it do i need to powder it do i need to powder powder foundation have you guys used powder to set your powder foundation please leave me comments below i have no idea i think this looks absolutely beautiful i'm going to try i'm going to try to come back and give you some reviews i will try and post um some video footage or some pictures of, of in regular sunlight i'm actually going to run some errands in a couple of minutes and yeah so this is it this is my video on the new fenty beauty pro filter soft matte powder foundation on mature skin over 50 here it is it looks and feels incredible i'm like so shocked I, I i don't know what's in this magic little lover but this is magic this is magic yep so that's it guys this is my video i hope you guys enjoyed it you guys be good to each other love each other and have a great great day bye okay guys so this is the foundation that i just put on probably like about a half hour ago i just wanted you to see it in um natural sunlight it's beautiful so it's about 7 30 and um you know i'm testing out the fenty um pro powder foundation um yeah so um it looks really good still feels tacky like and just like i said earlier only where i put concealer on um before i put the powder on it's a little bit um cakey um but other than that um it looks absolutely gorgeous. I am shocked.